let's talk a little bit about wholesaling. Uh, I get this question all the time. Um, should I start wholesaling? I'm a new investor. Should I get into the game? And I heard wholesaling is a good way to get started. Um, truth of it is, uh, the truth of the matter is, most wholesalers never really last. Um, it, it's a tough, tough business for a couple different reasons. One, I would say that wholesaling, um, you're, when you're wholesaling, you're selling a contract. And most people don't really understand that. Is You have to be really good at going out there and finding deals. And then you put those deals under contract. And then you go out and you sell that contract to another investor who ends up being the end buyer. So those three, those three, three elements are can become really difficult. Most people don't realize, or most people getting into the business don't realize how much energy and effort you have to go out and to, uh, and, and to put in to actually go out and find really good deals. They never really last because the marketing dollars, the marketing effort, the door knocking, the driving for dollars, the pre foreclosure list, whatever it is, takes a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of effort on the front end to actually put deals under contract um, so you can actually sell them to, uh, to sell that contract to another investor. So that, that's the first reason I would say is, you know, that most in wholesalers don't last. And if you're thinking about getting into the business, really understand that you need a powerful lead generation uh, machine on the front end to really make your wholesale business a success, right? You have to really be committed. It's, it's, it's almost a full-time gig. You really have to be committed to door knocking. You really have to be committed to driving for dollars to mailers, to uh, you know, text messages, or whatever you're gonna use, whatever your strategy is, whether it be probate or eviction court, whatever it is, you really need to make sure that you have a, a commitment to, uh, to that, to that, cert, to that um, uh, lead generation strategy so you can actually put contracts under, uh, under, deals under contract and actually get them to your provider. And then you also have to, one of the things that I found really difficult about wholesaling is, um, the seller tends to ask a lot of questions during the during the process. And again, I'm in Massachusetts. I'm not sure how it is in other states. Maybe it's a little bit easier to hide. But often the wholesale fee is uh, on the HUD, um, on the settlement statement, meaning that the seller is going to see that their property is selling for five hundred thousand, and for some reason the new buyer is now picking it up at five fifty. There's a fifty thousand dollar gap between what they're receiving and what the end buyer is actually paying at the table. A lot of times when I pick up properties from wholesalers, we can avoid this by not doing the closing with the seller. Sometimes it's easier just to have the seller separate. Um, you know, we describe it as another fee or something like that, but it is very, very difficult. We've had a lot of deals fall apart at the 11th hour because this, the seller gets the HUD and basically says, well, clearly I'm selling this at a discount. I'm selling this uh, incorrectly or I sold it, you know, below market value because now you're going basically turning around the contract. So. As a wholesaler, you want to make sure that you're cautious of that. You want to make sure that you really understand um, uh, the nuances of the game, of the wholesaling business, and make sure that your contracts are tight and make sure that your end buyer, the investor that you're selling it to, uh, really understands how to work those, those nuances as well. Uh, last but not least, the th I think the third reason that most wholesalers don't survive, and you know, I run into this often, is when you are a wholesaler, Let's say you're, you, you know, the, the ARV or the after repair value of a house in this neighborhood, a single family house is 500,000 and you get it under contract at uh, 400,000, right? There is no way that you can sell or wholesale this deal to somebody else for 500,000. There's no, you didn't leave any meat on the bones. You didn't leave any, you didn't leave anything uh, there to be desired for the, for the end investor. Um, and then you also have to consider the rehab budget and the profit for the investor as well. So I would say in that likely scenario, you're probably going to have a 5,000 or 10,000 at most wholesale fee, right? So you picked it up at four, you're going to wholesale it for, you know, four ten. you put $10,000 in your pocket and now you left about $90,000 worth of room to, for the investor to throw some money into it, put it back on the market, pay a realtor and everything and still end up making a profit on the other end. The problem with most wholesalers is they actually see that the, they have to leave so much meat on the bones to get things done that they stop wanting to wholesale and they end up just wanting to rehab properties. Most wholesalers start off as wholesalers and they just end up being um, a rehabber or a developer or a flipper or a buy and hold uh, you know, guy or girl at the end of the day anyway. So they just don't really last in the business. So those are the three things that I would say, consider if you're thinking about getting into the big game, uh, if you're thinking about getting into real estate and you heard wholesaling was the way to go, um, definitely uh, keep those things in mind. Number one, you really have to have a strong lead generation machine. You have to have a passion for it. You have to want to go out there and find deals. You have to be hungry because deals are not going to come easily, especially in you know high-priced, you know aggressive markets. Um, 
you have to be able to, you have to know the insides and insides and outs of your contracts. You have to be able to talk to sellers. You have to be able to sit down. Once you've cranked up that lead generation machine, you have to be able to sit down with a seller, put a deal under contract and explain to them, you know, why this is a good number for their property and then go out there and sell it to an end buyer with some meat left on the bones without uh, getting jealous for lack of a better, uh, better word about the profit that they're potentially making after the rehab. And if you can do all that, you'll be a successful wholesaler, but I find that most of them, uh, you know, just don't last in the business, but hopefully you will.